Hi, I am Clary, an award-winning Italian designer based in Manchester, UK, where I run my design practice, Studio Per My Soul. In this video, you will learn how to display critical information and data together quickly and efficiently. While working with Lancaster University in partnership with Envision doctoral training, I led one of the group of PhD students in the Info Hackett competition. I worked alongside the doctoral researchers, creating the infographics to accompany the scientific results of their research project. And my team won first place in the competition. The infographic helped the scientists in delivering the key messages representing the science accurately, while at the same time retaining the audience's attention. Follow this video to discover how to build infographics that will help you communicate in a clear, concise, and engaging manner. To get started, click on Create New. Then, set your intent to Art and Illustration, and click on Poster. Name your file Infographic, set the orientation to Landscape, and click on Create. Let's start creating a graph by using the Graph tool in the toolbar. Click on the column graph and hold to display the hidden graphs. I'm going to start by selecting the bar graph tool, then click and drag it into the artboard and select the area where you want to draw your graph. Then release, the graph option window will pop up. This is the place where you can manually enter data and apply them to the graph, just like so. You can also import data from a text file. To do so, click on import data I provided two data text files in this video starter folder for you to follow along. Select the file named the lionfish from the destination folder and click on open. The data are imported into our tabs. All we have to do is to click on apply. We have now created a graph which shows the distribution of each different species of lionfish, red, zebra, and luna in the different oceans. Click on the red X to close the data window. If you wish to change data, you can always do so by clicking on the object menu, then selecting graph and data. Here, you'll be able to change any data by clicking on the cell and inputting the right number. When you're done editing, simply click on apply to modify your data and close the window. Let's use another graph. From the toolbar, click and hold to reveal the hidden graphs and select the pie graph tool. Click and drag to draw the area where to place your graph. Let's go ahead and import our second file by clicking on the import data icon and select the file named Lionfish Nutrition and click on open. Now that the data are imported, let's click on apply. The graph shows the different distribution of preys per each different species. You can also change how to display this data by transposing rows and columns. You can do so by clicking on the second icon and then click on apply. As you can see in this case, the data from your column and row will be swapped. I think the previous version was a little bit more intuitive as it allows to deduct much more information visually, but you can pick whichever one you prefer. When you're done importing your data and you know you're not going to have to edit them anymore, you can select both graphs using the selection tool, then click on the object menu and select ungroup, then click on yes. Illustrator is letting you know that once you ungroup these elements, you won't be able to change the data anymore. Now, with both graphs selected, go to the Edit menu, select Edit Color, then Recolor Artwork. Double-click on the black to add a new color to the current Harmony. Then click on the Edit tab and click on the Link icon to link the Harmony colors. Now, we're going to be changing the hue and the darkness. As you can see, all the colors move together on the color wheel creating a monochrome harmony. You can also change the brightness of the color, but if you wish to create different hues per each different element, unlink the colors by clicking again on the link icon and move each one of the dots around the color wheel until you're happy with the result. When you're done, click on OK. To resize the graphs proportionally, hold Shift and drag down from the corner of the bounding box, just like so. In this case, the index is the same for both graphs, so we can press A on the keyboard to trigger the direct selection tool and click and drag it over one of the indexes to select it and then press on delete. All we have to do now is to give our infographic a title. Click on the type tool and click and drag on the top of the arbor to create a text box. I will name my infographic Lionfish Statistics. Feel free to call it as you wish. 
press Command A on a Mac, that's Control A on Windows to select the text, and let's head to the Properties panel to change the size of the font under the Character Options. To assign a color to the text, you can click on the Eyedropper tool from the toolbar and choose one of the colors from your graphs to keep our color palette consistent. To create a background, click on the Rectangle tool and then click and drag over the artboard. Then use the shortcut Command Shift Left Curly Bracket on Mac, that's Control Shift Left Curly Bracket on Windows to bring the background under all our elements. Change the color of the fill to a neutral color. We are now ready to export. Press Option Command E, that's Alt Control E on Windows to open the export for screen options and click on export. Your infographic is ready to be shared. Now it's time for you to try out these techniques to display your data. Again, I am Claudia from Prove My Soul and I look forward to working with you in the next project to elevate your business communication strategy.